step into the cozy living rooms of the late 80 seconds, where Empty Nest found its place among the TV greats. With its light-hearted humor and endearing characters, this series swiftly carved its niche in the hearts of viewers. But beyond the surface, did you know that it was actually a spin-off from another beloved show? That's right, the origins of Empty Nest trace back to the Golden Girls, giving it an unexpected connection that often gets overlooked. This gem of a series held a mirror up to the joys and challenges of family life, tackling relatable themes with a comedic touch. Its enduring qualities lie in the way it captured the essence of everyday struggles and celebrations, fostering a sense of belonging among its audience. But what makes this show truly remarkable is the lesser-known fact that certain episodes dared to touch on deeper, more poignant subjects, surprising many with its depth amidst the laughter. Now, we're curious what's your most cherished memory or personal experience with this series. Share your stories, and let's relive those moments together in the comments below. Aired alongside the Golden Girls and Nurses, Empty Nest shared Miami, Florida as its backdrop. Sometimes, these shows wove their stories together, letting characters mingle across episodes. Interestingly, Empty Nest began as a pilot for the Golden Girls, but pivoted with David Leisure's character, changing his name from Oliver to Charlie Diets. Grace Zabriskie made a unique appearance as Eva in the premiere, and returned seven years later as Laverne's mother Scarlet in the season finale. These connections added depth to the show's universe, linking characters and narratives in unexpected ways. Richard Mulligan landed the lead role in this series due to his lasting connections with the show's creators from their work on Soap. Mulligan portrayed Dr. Harry Weston, the central character, bringing his experience and rapport with the production team onto the set. His collaboration with Paul Unerwitt, Tony Thomas, and Susan Harris from Soap played a pivotal role in his selection for this role. This relationship not only showcased Mulligan's talent, but also highlighted the significance of industry connections in shaping casting decisions. Bear the Dog's brother, Julio, often stood in his Dreyfus bringing liveliness to scenes that needed action. In the earlier season's opening credits, Julio dashed around with Richard Mulligan. Interestingly, B. Arthur, known for her aversion to gum chewing, crossed paths with this show's set. While guest starring, she caught Dinah Manoff chewing gum and demanded she spit it out. When Manoff refused, Arthur stormed off. This series, like Benson and the Golden Girls, marked the culmination of Wit, Thomas, Harris sitcoms airing for seven years. It was the final one to do so, wrapping up an era in television comedy. Richard Mulligan and Dinah Manoff, both familiar faces from ABC's Soap, found themselves once again collaborating under the creative direction of Susan Harris in a series set in Miami, Florida. Mulligan, known for his portrayal in Soap, stepped into the shoes of Dr. Harry Weston, the lead character of this sitcom. Meanwhile, the connection extended to Manoff, who joined the cast, contributing her talent to this new venture. This reunion of familiar talents brought a sense of continuity and familiarity to the show, establishing a foundation for the series. Dinah Manoff and Christy McNichol, previously co-stars in the TV series Family, reunited in the revamped cast of the show. Following a failed backdoor pilot, producers overhauled the lineup, introducing Richard Mulligan, Dinah Manoff, Christy McNichol, Park Overall, and Bear the Dog. Despite Bear being a consistent presence throughout, there were intermittent episodes where he didn't make an appearance, adding a touch of variability to the series. This shakeup of the cast and intermittent appearances of the beloved furry character contributed to the show's dynamic nature and kept viewers engaged throughout its run. Laverne, a familiar face from Nurses, shares a connection with Sandy Miller, her good friend on the spin-off. Portrayed by Stephanie Hodge, Sandy's role adds depth to the intertwined universe of these shows. The series draws inspiration from a British sitcom, Father, Dear Father, featuring a single father with daughters, and a large dog, albeit with distinct differences in family dynamics. Empty Nest weaves in guest appearances from nurses, including David Rash and Lonnie Anderson. These crossovers enrich the shared world between these sitcoms, offering viewers glimpses into interconnected storylines. The theme song Life Goes On, written by John Bettys and George Tipton, defined the show's mood. 
Initially, it carried a slower, comical tone, later shifting to an upbeat arrangement with female backup singers. This change coincided with the altered title sequence from the third season onward, marking a shift in the show's vibe. The song's evolution mirrored the series' growth, capturing its essence through sound. Billy Vera's rendition became emblematic, setting the tone for each episode, evolving along with the show itself. The music became a subtle yet significant part of the series' identity, echoing its evolution across seasons. Five original cast members stayed till the end, but Richard Mulligan stood as the sole actor appearing in every single episode, a testament to his enduring commitment to the show's narrative. The theme's transformation and Mulligan's unwavering presence underscored the show's journey over its 170 episodes, leaving a lasting imprint on its legacy. Richard Mulligan and Bear the Dog formed an exceptional bond both on and off the set of the series. Starting their days together, Mulligan would often be found reviewing scripts in the set's dining room when Bear arrived with his trainer. Their rapport was evident as Mulligan greeted Bear, checking in on him, giving treats, before commencing the day's work. This camaraderie transcended the screen, reflecting the genuine connection between actor and furry co-star. This unique relationship added an authentic warmth to the show, visible in their on-screen chemistry. Premiering on NBC as a follow-up to The Golden Girls, this sitcom debuted on a Saturday night in October. Airing consistently after its predecessor for three years, it shifted time slots before settling alongside nurses. The show navigated a time change during its final season. Park overall, portraying Laverne, took a stand against stereotypical lines, ensuring her character didn't conform to easy jokes about Southerners. Her insistence on authenticity added depth to the portrayal. The series' evolution in timing and character development marked its journey, enriching its legacy over time. Love and Loss, the tragic romances of Empty Nest's cast members in old Hollywood in the golden era of Hollywood. The cast members of a beloved series found themselves entangled in tales of love and loss, adding layers of poignancy to their on-screen personas. Behind the laughter and camaraderie, the lives of these actors held narratives filled with heartbreak and emotional upheaval. One such story revolves around the romantic endeavors of these luminaries, where love often met with tragic ends. Through the lens of history, their personal lives intertwined, forming a tapestry of complex relationships that echoed the dramatic arcs of their characters on screen. Within the folds of fame, these individuals experienced relationships fraught with challenges, some marred by public scrutiny, and others veiled in secrecy. These romances, marked by passion and tumult, painted a vivid picture of the human experience beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. As the legacy of this iconic series endures, the narratives of these cast members' love lives continue to fascinate, shaping the perception of their personas and leaving an indelible mark on the cultural fabric of the show and its impact on viewers. As our journey together comes to a gentle close, let's pause and reflect on the charming anecdotes, the laughter that echoed through those episodes, and the moments that resonated within you from that treasured show born in 88. Your personal connection with the series, whether through its endearing characters or the heartfelt narratives, is a testament to the lasting impact of storytelling. We encourage you to delve into the corridors of memory and share your cherished musings about the nostalgic brilliance that the show painted onto your screen. Perhaps it's a heartfelt scene that still lingers, a character whose wit or warmth stayed with you, or simply the cozy familiarity of tuning in each week. Your thoughts weave a tapestry of shared experiences, creating a beautiful mosaic of reminiscence and nostalgia. Feel free to share your treasured memories or reflections, for they add to the rich legacy of a series that resonated with many. Thank you for allowing us to traverse the corridors of nostalgia with you, relishing in the joyous moments and treasured memories that Empty Nest graced us with. Your participation and fond recollections bring an extra layer of warmth to the tale. With gratitude for your time and fondness for the show.